Today we're going to install new brakes on the rear on this 2006 Honda Civic Si. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and compress this piston back into place. I have this nifty little tool and we're going to see if it works. So all you simply want to do is put it up against the piston here with the four little caliper pins there or the four pins there. Uh, it has different ones. I'm going to try this one to see if that works. Try to focus. And if not, I guess I'll try those two. And if not, maybe those two. We'll give it a try. We'll see which one works. Alright, so there it is. You want to hold this with both hands. Just demonstrating real quick, holding the camera. And there it goes. It's going back inside. Alright, and there we have it. Compressed all the way back inside. Now we're going to go ahead and put our shoes on, the brake pads. Uh, this does come with brand new hardware kit. Uh, it does not come with the hardware kit for back here, so I, all I did was clean this one up. So let's go ahead and replace this hardware kit and go ahead and lube it up. And lube up the pads, put them back into place. Actually, maybe it did. It has those. These are the ones for the shoes. Uh, here are the ones for the shoes, and then these seem to go back there. I don't know exactly how, but I'd rather just use the OEM one. So let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, I went ahead and put synthetic brake and caliper grease, and I'm going to go ahead and mount it on there. I placed it on all the metal contacts, that way hopefully it doesn't not squeak. All right, hardware is in place, nice and greased up on both ends. We're going to go ahead and slap in the brake shoe. This will be on the exterior, and the one with the sensor will be on the interior, going downwards. So let's go ahead and insert this one right in there. And they just slide into place uh, with a little bit of pressure. Oh boy. A lot of pressure all right brake both brake shoes are in now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the same brake and caliper synthetic grease uh, the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mark them up just where the caliper hits them there's no need to mark them all up with grease go ahead and mark the back one as well just like so perfect now let's go ahead and slide this caliper into place. You might need both hands to do that. And before we actually do that, we have to insert this last hardware kit, which goes right inside the caliper. Just like so, go sitting right there. There it is. Now let's go ahead and put this caliper back into its location. All right, now let's go ahead and put our caliper pin bolts back into place. To secure these, what I like to do is put a crescent in front of it and go ahead and tighten it up because you can see the crescent moving that means the caliper pin is trying to rotate all right there it is let's go ahead and secure the bottom one as well all right and there it is now let's go ahead and do the other side all right once you're done with all of the brakes the front the rear everything we're going to go ahead and close our oil reservoir for our brakes right at the line it's perfect uh, spilling some nice and topped off let's go ahead and start the vehicle up all right let's go ahead and press on the brake first time it's gonna go all the way in and you could feel it getting harder and harder all right that's perfect nice and solid and you're done Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.